Melanie Graffil and today I'm gonna make dessert. Have you ever had strawberry jello pretzels? Well I have. Actually I was inspired to do this because I one of my friends from high school made this big up immaculate heart what's up? It's a very simple thing but uh, it's made with pretzels, strawberry jello and cream cheese whipped cream. I'm just gonna do a small batch today. I have pretzels. I'm gonna take a cup of pretzels. Oh, that's so crinkly sounding. So I'm gonna take a cup of pretzels. Yeah, that looks like a good cup. I'm gonna put it into a baggie, do all that good stuff, and then I'm going to crush it. You can either use a mallet or a rolling pin. I think I'll just use the rolling pin. I'm gonna create the crust by crushing up the pretzels it's together with some butter and some sugar and we're gonna put it into the bottom of a pan once these are all crushed up so there's my crushed pretzels and now I'm going to add melted butter three tablespoons of butter and one and a half tablespoons of sugar I'm following the Betty Crocker recipe but I divided everything in half and that took some math and so I'm just tossing this all together. I'm just gonna grab my pan and we're gonna spoon this out and be right back. My pan was right next to me. Spoon this out and take that, take our spatula and just give it a nice even layer like this. Take it to a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. <laughs> So now we're going to make the filling. Betty Crocker's recipe calls for Cool Whip, but I'm just going to make my own whipped cream. I'm going to add four ounces of heavy whipping cream. That's about half a cup. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like this one from Trader Joe's. This one's the, the bourbon vanilla, uh, vanilla extract. So I'm going to take it to the mixer and I'm just going to whip it up. Okay, nice whipped cream. I just took it to, wow, I'm strong. I just took it to the point of no return. No, I took it to, um, I don't know, soft peak, stiff peak. I don't know, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't go to culinary school. Sure, I don't, I don't know anything about that life. But, uh, you know, I just took it to the point where it looks whipped enough and um, I think that looks like whipped cream. So I'm just gonna take it out of the bowl and set it aside while I whip up the cream cheese. I'm just gonna use the same bowl to whip up the cream cheese. Why not? Yeah, that's gonna get mixed in the same to the same dish anyway. Do the same thing. I don't I don't know what this part entails. This is my first time doing it. <laughs> Smells like cheesecake. By the way, the crust is ready. So this is just gonna set until we're ready to go. Now the cream cheese is nice and whipped. It smells like cheesecake. And now we're gonna fold in the whipped cream that we set aside earlier. We'll just do it in batches. Get it all over my thumb. Then you put it in the bowl. <laughs> I forgot to add this earlier, but I'm not really sure what step I was supposed to add this anyway because I kind of freestyled this um, riff off of uh, Betty Crocker's recipe. So this is about a half a cup of sugar or 50 grams. I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. There's the filling. All we need to do is put this on top of the crust. Now we're gonna do the topping. Uh, we have 
one package of strawberry jello and a pound of strawberries and one cup of boiling water. It's ready to go. So we're just gonna drop it into the bowl. This has already been measured out. It's called mise en place. <laughs> Everything in its place. That's one cup of boiling water. It smells like childhood. It's, I don't think they've made strawberry gelatin since 1994. Okay, now we're gonna add one pound of frozen strawberries. <laughs> Get that all coated up in there. That looks good. Okay, and I think, I think now that this is together, the filling is um, all assembled as well. I think we're just going to put all the layers together now. So, meet you back here. Now we have our three layers ready to go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's already, it's already all gelatinous. Oh. See, when you walk away for just a few minutes, gosh, that smells actually really good. It smells like this strawberry cake that I used to get at the Phoenix Bakery and well, it was in downtown. I think they're in the 626 now. So now we're gonna assemble the layers. First was the pretzel layer and then the cream and then we're gonna top it with the already gelatinized strawberries. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna spoon this uh, cream cheese whipped cream filling. Now remember, this is the one where we made our own whipped cream. I'm not, I'm not really into the hydrogenated oils and, and cool whip. I'm just gonna try to spread the cream filling as evenly as I can. I wanna make sure that the cream touches the sides of the glass so that it's nice and visible has a visual impact. Okay, now we're gonna do the strawberry layer. First of all, this strawberry looks diseased. I'm gonna take that out. So I'm gonna add this in a similar fashion. <laughs> I like how it's plopping as I spoon it into the pan. I'm so graceful. So I'm just gonna spread the strawberry layer evenly over the top like so. And that's it. Strawberry Jello pretzel dessert. Betty Crocker's recipe says you need to put this in the fridge for four to six hours to set up. Uh, since I made a small batch, I'm, I imagine it won't take that long, maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of two hours. So I'm gonna check this after two hours to see if it's set. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll cut it up. Confession. I said we would wait around two hours, but it's only been one hour. I checked on it in the fridge and it looks cold and it looks set. So I think we should just dig into it. Okay, here it is. Here is the finished dish. Strawberry jello pretzels. We've got the layers of pretzel on the bottom, the cream cheese, whipped cream, and then the jello and the strawberries on top. I've got my serving spoon and I've got a little plate here. Just gonna plate it up. I'm gonna laugh if some of these strawberries are still frozen though. <laughs> so we'll give it a shot, we'll see. I'll take some from the corner right here. Um, yeah, presentation skills. Yeah, I need some work on that, but let's see. Let's just give it a shot. Get all the layers. Good thing there's no ground beef in it. <laughs> I didn't get all the layers. Mmm. 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 Wow. Look. I don't normally eat, I don't really like jello. But I do like strawberries and I like pretzels and whipped cream and cream cheese. It's such a weird combination. You wouldn't think that it would go together, but it's nice. You have the buttery crust. I'm surprised because I thought the pretzels would be super salty and I thought that the 
Like, I was afraid that the strawberries would be frozen, but wow, this crust is amazing. And the cool thing is, the ingredients are really inexpensive. You can find them. Like, I bought all of these at Target. You don't have to go to a specialty grocer or anything like that. You can just find them at your regular grocery store. That's a cool thing. Mmm, yeah. I like it. Try it, make it, do it. Strawberry jello pretzels. Ba bam. Stop! Stop!